Hi and welcome to another Tonic Social Club with me, Owen. Me, Daniel. And what's for? Do we usually say that? Hi and welcome to another Tonic Social Club with me, Owen. Me, Daniel. It's four o'clock. It's Friday. Ish. <laughs> and uh, here's what's coming up on today's show. In this week's Friends of Tonic, we speak to Simon Hurley, aka Inklips, where he shows us what he's working on at the moment. We share some quick tonic tips. We find out if Laura can beat us in the Kensington Challenge. As always, we'll be showing off your makes from the past week on the Show Tonic Showcase. And finally, we visit the Tonic Carnival for a special competition. Yeah, so that's it. That's what we've got coming up uh, today, Jam Pack Show. Mm -hmm. uh, first up, yeah, we meet Inklips, Simon yes. Hurley. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of work on YouTube and Instagram and his blog as well. He does really nice clean and like nice cards as well. And he's just a really good crafter. Yeah, I've seen him hanging out with the big names in, in, the, yeah. in the US. Uh, so he's uh, scrapbook.com and lots of other people as well. Yeah. You know, he's in high demand, so, you know. <laughs> We're lucky to have him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, without further ado, here's Inklips. Hi there, my name is Simon Hurley and I'm a 15 year old card maker, blogger, and YouTuber. So I actually started out on Instagram and then that evolved into a YouTube channel and a blog later on. So I've been doing this for about three and a half years so far and the quality's definitely improved and I've been improving this whole time and my style and everything and I hope to keep the channel going for quite some time. My channel is mainly just a bunch of different card making tutorials except for each video I try to fit in about three to five cards. That way I can show you a couple different ways to use that technique with whatever different products and you get to learn a lot for each video. So my style is definitely super, super clean and simple and it's kind of evolved over time into that. At the beginning I would add a bunch of different buttons and embellishments all over my cards and I've kind of strayed away from that now because I like to really focus on the coloring and stamping portion of it and I find that works best for me rather than adding a bunch of different embellishments on the cards. My latest project has been with the Nouveau Drops. I've been creating something a little bit more unique and different with them um, for a project. So this is going to be coming out soon on my YouTube channel and blog and here's a little bit of a sneak peek on how some of them turned out. My favorite product would definitely have to be the Nouveau Drops. I tend to add them on every card. For a good reason though, it tends to keep the card pretty masculine, which I really like, but you still get to embellish it and add that fun textured glossy surface. So that would definitely have to be my favorite product at the moment. My favorite crafting tip is that these cards are handmade and they're not supposed to be perfect. So you never want to strive for perfection because there's always going to be little mistakes here and there. And I highly doubt that anybody who you give the card to will point out your mistakes or even notice them. And usually the cards that I create definitely have little imperfections in them here and there. But that's kind of the beauty of making your own cards and it's half the fun of it. I gotta say, for inspiration, the best inspiration comes during school and you can write it down in your notebook and come home and film the video is what I tend to do. And also I find inspiration in all the different products. So if I get a new product or I just want to use a certain product in a video, I can kind of just look at that product and spin it in an office, share for a while to come up with a couple of really fun and creative ideas. You can find more of my work over at inclips.com. It's spelled I-N-K-L-I-P-S-E.com. And then you can also find more of my work over at YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. The same way, spelled Inclips. A great interview there by Simon there. So, so talking about all the different uses that you can get of crystal drops. They're not just little dot, dots you can have on a card. They can be the card themselves almost in the, in the projects he's working on. So make sure to keep an eye out on his Instagram and YouTube for that stuff. Yeah, we, you, do, you are seeing more and more of crystal drops becoming the essential in a lot yes. of the, the big YouTubers and, 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 uh, and bloggers you know, across the world at the moment. So uh, yeah, lots to look forward to there. Uh, next up, we've got um, some tonic tips. We just give you some, some little tips. 
Hi and welcome to Atomic Tips. I'm going to show you how to make a stencil from your layering dies or any dies that you have and create a cool background using that with your inks as well. So uh, what you can do is here's one I created earlier, which is simply just a cut off. So a bit of cut off you would have with your card, any piece uh, with you can use the guillotine for instance, and lay it up the circle dies across there, just doing them one at a time and creating those sort of shapes. And you can see it in the top can there. Um, then just lining up on your card uh, as you would. And uh, you can tape that down as well then. So if you tape it down, it means you're probably not going to get any you know, run underneath then of, of the of the ink. But you know, you don't necessarily ha have to. You can do it pretty freehand as long as you're holding it down fairly firmly. Um, so then you go here. Then just ink using sort of smooshing tool like this. Um, just give it a dab in your ink. And said so here, holding it fairly firm, uh, firmly towards the center. And and then ink in there, and this can be done with you know all your die cuts. See them as stencils, you know, not just die cuts uh, that you've got, especially you know the layering dies like that. You can keep this little section here then in your in your crafty toolkit and uh, and just create circles or moons, things like that, um, or circle design. So you get a really nice clear circle there um, on there, which you'll be able to see across. But you can create these beautiful circles with your layering dies and uh, things like that. So uh, there you go. That's a tip. Hi, next up, we're going to show you how to shadow. Now, these are a lot of these tips that we're talking about today uh, are basically, you know, I've learned from Alison uh, from starting to, to learn about crafting. And shadowing is a really cool effect that can add some, some dimension to your card and, and, some, uh, and some, diff some difference. So you cut two sentiments. So in this case, they're quite small sentiments. Uh, so you've got two thank you sentiments there. And you layer them, and you can go sort of any direction you want with them. And you just put them slightly to the side. So you lay them on top of each other, then pull one to the bottom left, so sort of southeast, as it were, uh, to the bottom of them, and then you and then glue them uh, steady, and you get that cool shadowing effect behind. So you have that one underneath, and you just put a few drops of glue. Uh, there you go. So a few dabs, then place it underneath. Usually you have a bit of wiggle room on your glue, glue as well, so you'll be able to create that. So don't be afraid, you know, worried if you get it the first time. But there you go, you've got your thank you sentiment there um, as you need it. And you can just keep them, you know, should you wish, and then stick them on a later date. But yeah, you can move them, and it doesn't really matter which direction you go, and it depends what type of shadow you want to create. Yeah, so there's another tip. Hi, today I'm going to talk about guillotines and how to effectively use them. As you can see, I've got two different types here. I've got a uh, eight-inch blade one here and a twelve-inch blade one here. Uh, they're both used for different kind of circumstances. Uh, you can use kind of more like delicate detail stuff here. Uh, and as you can see, you've got it comes with its own little nodule measurements. So if you want to make particular size cards, then you can use the little measurements that come into the grid of this particular guillotine, as well as having six inches across the top here. Uh, and with the larger guillotine. Uh, you can see that it's got uh, also six inches here, as well as down by here and here. But also, for cutting larger bases, it comes with an extendable ruler, which adds an additional uh, six inches to there as well. So if you're cutting really large ones, or maybe uh, 12 by 12, so a 3 or anything like that, it's quite a good and effective guillotine. Uh, and the best way generally to use kind of guillotines is to place your card where you want to measure it, place the paper card down quite firmly, and then slowly cut. And that's generally how you get the best cut and how you get the most out of your guillotines. Hope that helps. We hope you enjoyed those tonic tips. And if you've got any crafty tips of your own, email us at support at tonic studios.com and you can feature on the Tonic Social Club. Mm. What have we got next, Dan? We have got Laura's Kensington Challenge. Hello and welcome to the Kensington Challenge with myself, Daniel. Me, Owen. And me, Laura. Hi, Yay. guys. Brand new contestant today to try and beat me and Owen's score. Uh, we had about six minutes ish, so it's going to be a big one to do, you know. And you've had a lot of time to prepare, Laura, haven't you? Yes, yeah. I came in this morning at approximately 9.05. <laughs> oh, I was like, did you get the Skype? <laughs> no? You're doing the Kensington you Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a lot of good. It's going to be good. How, how confident are you? I'm like fairly confident. Yeah. You've yeah. made a Kensington bag before, though. This I have. Yeah. Completely. Not for a little while, but uh, I think I'll possibly be okay. Okay. Well, there's a lot of confidence in your voice there. That's oh, good. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what are the rules, Dan? What are the rules? The rules are that you have to make the Kensington bag uh, as quickly as you can, mm -hmm. and also for the uh, bag to stand by itself for 10 seconds afterwards. Mm -hmm. So if the bag 
well, it comes apart and because it's poorly done, <laughs> then the, the time continues and that adds to your time as well. So it's, it's kind of good for you to get it on the first good try. Good pressure then. No, yeah, exactly. Me and Owen both had it on the first try. Owen's one was not that great. But you know, it's still, it's still, it's still managed to stay there for ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, all the die gets done as well, so it's just yeah. in case of sticking it together. Mm -hmm. And we'd love for you to try it at home as well. If you've mm -hmm. got pins in the bag, just cut it out, stick a camera in front of you. Your face doesn't have to be in it, and we just see how fast you can do it, and yep. we'll tot it up, and we'll put you on the leaderboard then, and see if you oh. can. You can top the leaderboard. Yeah. Imagine that. Be on top of the gold leaderboard that we have. Do it, guys. Yeah. yeah. The prestige of that. Yes. Well. This is what it is. Yes. Are you ready? Ready. Is the glue working? The glue we is working. It? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place to start. All right, cool. So, are you ready? I am. Are you steady? Yes. Kensington. Kensington. <laughs> That's a new way of starting <laughs> that we came up with. Yeah. yeah. Oh, glue on the back of the hand. Oh, yeah. Interesting technique. That's oh, a yeah. kind of a pro one, that is. I think Laura's been in a bit of like isolation in that she hasn't maybe seen how other people have done it and put it together. So maybe. she may have a different technique or a different order that she goes to. Maybe. It's good to be different, guys. Like stabbing on the hand is not something Mia Dan e either is no. I think we were probably a bit more messy, and that's why. But will you do glue. it in the future? This is yeah. <laughs> it's certainly a pro move, if anything, I'd say. I mean, oh. like, like you see all the crafters doing it and I'm just I've watched know. a lot of videos <laughs> we've watched all our lives and then what's yeah. Alison doing here it's I've great watched life. a lot of tutorials <laughs> looking for information <laughs> so yeah you're doing the the detail uh, the outer detail first which is a good bit it's harder to put the detail on once yeah. the bag is together so, so, see, did know. either of you do doing? that sorry did either of you do that after, like put the detail on after no but Oh, I might have done. He was like, no, what were you, I, what did I, you I do? I only didn't, I think, because I'd seen you do it. Otherwise, too I much glue there, I think. Yeah, it's all right. It dries clear anyway. Yeah. So that's all right. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. You are against the clock, if you've forgotten. I'll, Come on. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. <laughs> Come on. Me and Daniel, we did it quicker than, we started more quickly than this. I know you may not have seen the other ones. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I thought it was going pretty fast. Come on, go, 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 go. It's Don't. a race. What time am I on then? Uh, I don't know. It's been about we just minute, started, so. haven't I? We do the count at the end. Oh, it's like a top gear thing. All right, thing, I'm so going to go like, faster now. You know, it's the reveal afterwards. Okay, just get it on, Lord. Get it on. Yeah, that's it. Just go on. Dun, 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 dun. We'll do all the chatting back here. Yeah. How are you doing today, Owen? Good. I felt yeah. like just letting her carry on at that pace. And then yeah. Then she yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tactics on the back end. No, but I didn't. But who was the one? I spoke up and I. I, went, I was the one that said first. Oh, I, was, I, was, oh, I said, oh, yeah. we were quicker at this point. Uh, you just said against the clock, didn't you? That was, I'm trying to give the encouragement. <laughs> yeah. Just a clue that yeah. you need to be. Come on. I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> My I, I think this is going to be a good kid's I, I feel yeah. like she's methodical, she's got. She's got all the attributes. Are you trying to good. sweeten me up now? Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're trying to distract you with compliments. We're yeah. To slow you down. It almost it. works. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like the commentary team back here now. We just said, yeah. oh, that's some great form there, by the way. That is some great that's expected form. from her as a uh, <laughs> previous Kensington maker. But I think, you know, we're. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm flipped in the wrong way. Flipping out. Oh, again, I think this is a slightly different technique to what me and you did, maybe. Oh, it is slightly different. Too much glue, but never mind. I think that's one of the good things about making Kenstons. You can't make it whatever way is easiest yeah. for you. So everyone's got their own little ways of yeah doing it, haven't they? And that's like the beauty of it. Really, you don't have to follow it. It's the it's the, set wrong, it's the right way, and then there's the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, I'd be, you'd be interested, you know, like we're all. Feel the amateur crafters and, and yes. learning. You know, be interesting. Like when the uh, the big hitters come in, you know, you got uh, Karen and uh, and Ali to to follow on this, and we'll see where they finish on the, on the board. Well, Jody... they've made like a zillion, so yeah, know. you know. And think... Jody's down. Uh, Jody's down next week. I wonder if she'll, oh, yeah. if, if Jody will do the Kensington challenge. I'm going to try and get her involved. Ask Maybe. her to do the Kensington challenge. If anybody, uh, if anybody message on her, yeah, really? page, say... we could try and get her to do. I think it'd be interesting. What time am I on? I don't know, we can't tell you. Can't tell you. Really? Just no. assume, assume it's just. Just assume as fast that you're really you slow and then just go faster. Oh, man. 
Um, so you also have to glue the uh, heart bracelet things and also the straps on. Um, and then as soon as you lock the heart together, yeah. that's when the time, then you have to let go and that's when the time starts. Got to let go of high. Yeah. It's a big let thing. It go. Yeah. Let it go. You've made, uh, what, what other occasions have you made them for? You know? Right, I did them for my daughter's teachers for the last day of term and I filled them with sweets and chocolates and stuff. Very nice. And um, just like making them with the kids and stuff, really. Yeah. Oh, God, my project. Yes, I can. <laughs> I suppose they are a nice little projects, special dimensions, because they're just, you know, everything about them is just quite easy. Everything's yeah. there that you need to make an entire project. I, I guess, don't know, so. right. Yeah, that, that's it, you know, like if you're, if you're fairly new to, if, you, if you're fairly new to crafting or 3D projects, and that, um, if you do get a dimensions die set, you see that sort of pink. Um, branding on it, then that means you know you've pretty much got everything you need in there. As long as you've got like an eight, eight, eight four cutting machine, which majority uh, you, then you can just pretty much make everything yeah. from it, and, and you can use the little bits. So anything, anything you see there, like so, you know, those would make good antenna, for instance, on like a, <laughs> if you were doing a bug card or things like that. So just yeah, think of yeah. ways, think of ways that you can use stuff. Depends on how big you, if you if you were cutting like do a big layering die and use them. Done, done, done. You need to lock the things oh. together. I should have done that first. Uh, ah! Lucky! Look! It looks pretty solid. The glue is solid. There you go. Right, 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 right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That kind of just stood still. You may have been too long. I didn't do it in my think, usual think, way for some reason. <laughs> I stuck the bottom. <laughs> I think maybe 10 seconds might be a bit oh. long. We might have to revise that because it is it's quite a long period of time, isn't it? Really? Thank but anyway, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura, for taking part, and we'll f find out if you were quicker than us soon. Well, I don't know now. You get to find out now, Laura. Yay! There you go. I know you were a bit panicked there when, you, when you get to find it's out. Been but impatient. You find out now. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think Laura did really well. I think uh, I think it's a strong kind of bag, both in design and physically. It looks a sturdy bag. Um, I think you've done really well. Oh, thanks. But uh, how well do you think you've done? I don't know. I think it's. Do you think, uh, you're, do you think you're good enough to talk? It's the things so that you just lose a bit of perception of time doing that, don't you? So it could. I feel it doesn't feel like long, but then who knows? Because I was a bit slow at the beginning. Who does know? Well, I know. Oh. And unfortunately, Laura, you went straight to the Yay! top of the leaderboard. <laughs> there you go. You got uh, five minutes thirty-seven. Oh, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Me and Dan, a bit disappointed, there but I guess are. that's I guess that's the way it goes. Yeah, How so, long will I stay on top for, though? This is the thing. I don't know when the pros, uh, when the you know the ringers come in, mm. we'll we'll see how we'll see how it goes. But that's going to be like their own competition. We'll be left of dust. Oh, it'll be a, They'll be like. That'll be a big. That'll be a big competition. That'll I know. Be, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, and that's it for the Kensington Challenge this week. Uh, finally, today, as always, we've got the Showtonic Showcase with your cards from the week.
Brilliant cars as always. Plenty of inspiration there for anyone that's kind of making some cars this weekend and uh, hopefully that helps you as well. If you want to upload your cards to the Tonic Social Club group, well, Tonic Facebook group, uh, just add them on there and use the hashtag ShowTonic. Info will be going across the bottom of your screen if you want to do that. And to finish off, as promised, we've got the Tonic Carnival competition. We thought, what is a classic competition? Yeah. How many things in a jar? <laughs> Let's say, and, uh, and, and here it is. So in this jar, we have filled it with crystal drops. There we go. So we'll give you a bit of a, an all-round look. Yeah. And anyone who comments on the video with the correct amount or closest to the correct amount will win a selection of the white Nouveau collection, which was on, uh, which was on the Chand uh, this yes. week. So um, yeah, just put your guesses yeah. in. Make sure to comment below with your guesses. Ooh, there's quite a lot in there, so you know, just chuck your numbers in. Let's chuck your numbers in. So there you go. And that's ready. So, um, yeah, until next week, see you soon, everyone.